So I have a problem, and if you're watching this video, you have the same problem, and that is how do I print out a capture of a website that is very long and get it to print out in a way that looks just like it is on the screen? Well, I've found a trick using Apple Numbers, their spreadsheet program, which probably a lot of you don't use because it has some problems with printing, but we can actually use that printing problem to our advantage. So let's just walk through this. I'll point out the problems as we uh, take a look at this. It's fairly simple, won't take us too long. Here I have a web page. You can see this web page goes on for quite some time, but I would like to have this just as it looks. So I can certainly right click here in Firefox, and there's a way to do this in um, different browsers, but I can say take screenshot. And I'm going to say that I want to save the full page. And when I do that, oh, save the full page, uh, it will do that. And then it will let me either copy it to the clipboard or download it. I'm just going to copy it here because I think that'll be nice and easy. And then I'm going to come over here to Numbers. Okay, in Numbers, I'm going to create a new document. Now, Numbers has a particular problem in that it is not very good with the way that it does the page breaks when you actually want to print out a spreadsheet. But we don't want to print out a spreadsheet here. We want to print out our image across multiple sheets of paper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete the sheet, the table from the sheet. So one of the features of numbers is that you can have multiple sheets on a, I'm sorry, multiple tables on a sheet. It's a little confusing, especially if you're used to Excel. It was a great idea. If Apple had actually invested the money into it, numbers could have been a contender, but they chose not to. So it's nice for somebody that needs a very simple spreadsheet or wants to make something really nice and pretty. But here I have pasted in this really long screen capture. Okay, So what I can do is I can do a couple things. One, I'm going to simply double click on it like you could with any image in a Mac program and I can then change the mask here. So I'm going to change that mask. I don't want that stuff at the bottom want to print out a, my little newsletter exactly as it looks. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this much, much bigger. Okay, I'm going to turn on rulers so I can actually see the rulers here. Let me see. I think that will, yeah, that will do it. Um, so I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to scroll this down because it's since I've enlarged it, enlarged it and it put it uh, off the top as well as off the, uh, well, not off the bottom, but off the top. Okay, and I'm going to adjust this width again so that I have it about at a page width. Okay, and I could zoom out so that I could uh, see that a little bit better. I move that over there so you can see it. Um, and then I come down here. Like I said, I'm going to make it a bit wider. Okay. So here I have my document in numbers. In this case, it's just an image. Remember, this is just an image to numbers. It doesn't know that this is a web page. All we did was we captured that as a very large and long image. So I can get it cropped the way I would like it, but then all I have to do is come here, uh, and I'm you're seeing this is off screen right now. I'm going to File, and I'm going to Print, and you'll see here that it has the Print Preview. And if I have this fit turned on, it will kind of magnify this to the degree that um, it can without moving over to a second page on the right, but you'll notice here that now I get 
my nice web page that has been, it's going to span all these uh, different pages when it prints out. Okay, so this is how we can actually get a printout of a web page that's really long. Now you'll notice here that it's actually cutting that links of the week. It actually has moved that, uh, and there's a little part there that has gotten uh, onto the second part. So you can't control the pagination here. Um, I could come over here and I could scoot this up just a teeny bit, and then I could see if that made any difference. Uh, and it looks like it did. It moved it onto the next page. But that can actually be an advantage because let's say that instead of having something really long like this, you had an image and you wanted to blow it up really big and you wanted to just cut along the edges and kind of tape it together. Well, you could do that as well. And this technique uh, should work out just fine for you. So this is how to use numbers to get a... Uh, nice printout of a web page just as it looks on the screen. So the first step was to take a screenshot. And so when you take that screenshot, may, be sure to uh, save as a full page. So do that. And then you can either copy or download. I've checked it out. The resolution is the same whether you download it or you copy it. In my case, I copied it. We then came over here to Numbers. Uh, we created a new Numbers document, but we immediately um, deleted that uh, table that was in there. And so all that is in this sheet is the um, image itself. So hopefully that helps you a little bit uh, in whatever the heck it is that you want to do.